Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful DM to DF reading. I do hope you're all having a lovely day um, and you're trusting and believing in what you already know. So to start this reading I'm going to be using the Divine Master Messages of Love and then I'm going to go on to some other decks as well to see what's coming through, what your Divine Master would love to show and express to you right now while you're listening and viewing this reading. So what is it the Divine Muskins want to share with you, Divine Feminines, today? Nice, clear message, please. What message of love have you got for your Divine Feminine, Divine Muskin? Our love is real. Our love is real. So any doubt and fear that you had today, that your Divine Muskin is reassuring you. Our love is real. And this is you reassuring yourself. Hmm. Because your Divine Muskin is you in another physical body. You're one soul. So... This is the truth. Our love is real. So whatever's gone on today or whatever's, you know, happened that's taken you away from believing this, this is the truth. This is real. And that's why it's so powerful. That's why it's, it feels it's unbearable at times because it's so intense, um, because it's unconditional love. I know we're twin flames, yeah. I know that we're twin flames and they may not know the label, but the label's not important. They know that this is different to anything they've ever, ever experienced before and this is deep and this love is real. So beautiful, trust me. Trust me. And the only way that you can trust your divine masculine is trust yourself, divine feminines, because you are one soul. I get lost in your eyes. So they get lost in your eyes because the eyes are the window of the soul and your eyes are so beautiful and the way that you look at your divine masculine because you love them so much because it is your other self because you, you can see the truth. You're experiencing real love. You love everything about them because they are perfectly designed and created for you. They're your divine partner. So they get lost in your eyes because, you know, they're just... They're sparkling. They're just beautiful. <laughs> they're seeing your eyes through the, through the through the eyes of God, the truth. So they get lost, and they want you. I know the trust is it is very um, challenging for the ego because it's like, how can you expect me to trust you when you're not showing up, when you're not saying anything, and after everything that's happened in the past, again, put it into your situation how it resonates. How do you expect me to trust you? Well, it's about you trusting that knowing. It's about trusting that love within you, no matter what's going on outside of you. And to see your divine masculine as your divine masculine, not the distorted divine masculine, what you've experienced before. So let go of the past, to let go of the physical person and concentrate on what's going on with you, with where your energy is at, and for you to be in this love energy, to be who you truly are, because that is where your divine masculine is and when you're trusting yourself that is the truth and that is where your divine masculine is as well because you're one soul so trust me is what they're saying trust me that i am capable to reaching out to you trust me that i am capable of being your divine masculine because again the mind plays games and it's like well i don't think that this is ever going to happen i don't think they're you know they're ever going to be able to do you know, share how they truly feel or, you know, be able to stay in their truth and come towards me and take action, whatever it is that's going on that's making you doubt. This is what I'm feeling is today, the Divine Feminines, because of these messages that your Divine Masculine is actually sharing, I feel that you're in a lot of doubt and fear and they're having to say, trust me. Switch off from social media, switch off from what happened before, be in the present moment, see me as, you know, the truth of how, when you do look into the eyes, you know the truth. That's why it feels so good. You know the truth because it is you, you know your truth. But you get disconnected from that again because of the mind. So, and I want to take care of you. Yeah, I want to take care of you. I want to be in your life. I know that we're meant to be with each other. I know that this is deep and this love is real because I've never felt this way before. 
and I've never back, I've never this is a bit felt so crazy in all my life before. <laughs> um, so let's see what comes through with my deck messages from your divine masculine's true self. So yeah, beautiful messages. They are messages of love and when, when we are in our heads it is annoying when we see trust me because it's like what? But it's not that, it's not that it isn't about trusting the physical person, it's about trusting yourself and that's why you're going through what you're going through because you're being pushed to trust your intuition and not rely on anything outside of yourself. So let's see what's coming through. And then when you're when you're able to do that, that's when the physical person shows up anyway. Because you're taking total responsibility of yourself and you're you're respecting yourself by trusting yourself on what's good for you. I'm managing my ego so much better now, yeah. So they they are managing the fear, the ego, the voices in their heads, they're managing this. I love you, babe, yeah. And that's something that your divine masking could have said to you as well. And I know it's really special. Trust me, I do love you no matter how it seems right now. So trust me. You know the truth. I'm in my truth. The feelings I have for you are real, yeah. Again, come on. We've got real come through twice in this reading. I'm in my truth. The feelings I have for you are real. And you know that they're real because that's how you feel. Your one soul this person is not separate from you this isn't a soulmate relationship this is yourself that you're dealing with and that's why you can trust it when you're in your truth your divine masculine is there <laughs> you're one but when you get disconnected and you're coming from mind you see all these you see all these different things that's confusing because the mind's trying to work it out. When you let go of the physical person, when you let go of looking on social media to see what they're doing, what they're not doing, that's showing that you're trusting yourself. You don't need to know what the physical person's doing and what they're not doing because you're dealing with yourself. You can't control this, that the physical person, by doing something outside of yourself. You've got to, to take a um, responsibility of your energy I'm seeing the bigger picture. Things are being made clear to me now. Yeah, things are being made clear to me now. <laughs> I know who you are and I understand what this relationship is. And they're seeing signs, synchronicities. They're getting this wisdom, this sacred knowledge because they're open now. And that's because my stomach's going crazy, by the way, guys, if you can hear that. But that's because you're learning to open up open up so much more yourself and the more your heart is open that's what happens for your divine muscle because you're one soul it's just that we're so used to thinking that and dealing with somebody and thinking they're separate from us but this is so different <laughs> it's so different and it, it does feel so painful it really does when we're viewing it is if this person is separate because then what, what you know what are they doing to us why are they behaving like this but it's not it there your divine muscle is there just for the reasons of reflecting back to you what's going on with you you are the spiritual leader you are the positive polarity so it does start with you you're the conscious one so whatever's going on within you the divine muscle will it filters through um so there is nothing to fear because you're one you haven't got it wrong this love is real so trust yourself and that is trusting your divine masculine so thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful dm to df reading i do hope that it's helped you know what's going on on your twin flame journey with yourself <laughs> and i hope it helps you understand more about the twin flame journey and if you would like extra support on your Twin Flame journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light, and I love you all so very much. See ya! But
your soul, say 